Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Give you a little insight on that. Best way I can tell. Lil Fat. It's like my little brother. Man, that's like the grownest nigga I've ever encountered. This nigga was 15, living like a 30 year old. Like on some grown man shit. Yeah? Mm -hmm. A lot of shit used to tell me, I just didn't want to take serious. Just because of his age, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we riding in his Jag one day. Oh, we might have been in my BMW, you know. However, we was floating. We used to be floating, full of that drink smoking. That nigga like, say something. You need to stop being around such and such. I'm like, why? He's like, man, they gonna put that iron on, son. Nigga got that bag on, move the way. I'm like, man, for what? You know, I won't go detail. Mm -hmm. I'm like, for what? He like, whoop the one, whoop the one, nigga won't. I'm like, damn, son. I fuck with dude. Like, he telling me that because he know I be with dude. You know what I'm saying? I can't go home and sleep and not tell dude, man, they got a bag on you, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But I let him know, look, bag on you, I'm finna bag up off because I don't know, I don't really take little ones serious like that, yeah, but I don't know, niggas don't play like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now where we from, they don't play like that. And he's very capable. Mm -hmm. And the little nigga he was running with at the time was a fucking creature. <laughs> yeah, that nigga was fucking dangerous. But anyway. Um, I told my people I'm going to bag back from you. Bag back from you from about two months, right? That nigga called me for some drink one day. I go pull up on the block serving, right? That nigga like, man, you really letting them niggas tip you, man? You don't hang on the block no more. You don't even come down here and drink nothing with a nigga. Whoop the wine, whoop the wine. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go to the store and get a cold drink. We're going to pull up. You hear me? I'm still on dead game at the time. So when I come back, Travis had a hum on thirties. Man, we have been playing enough. Mm -hmm. But our fucking studio used to look like a fucking car show. Damn. Like literally. Mm -hmm. One, you remember uh, Playboy was talking about, about Bruh Stupid earlier. Mm -hmm. Man, Bruh Stupid had a hard on for us so bad, that nigga used to come while we was in the studio and just flash flashlights in our cars and see if he find anything. That nigga found a blunt in the ass, just seen a blunt in the ass tray one time and came, got everybody out the studio and went, opened my people truck, searched it, found all kind of paints. Nigga ain't gonna take the lick. Man, my people went to jail. Just, you know, just, but we in the studio working. I ain't fucking with nobody. This is what the police come do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that kind of shit. You feel me? Mm. Yeah, so when I pull up back on the block to um, sip some drink with my little people, Travis was passing by to go by his on uh, his auntie house or wherever he was going, and he pulled his he pulled his truck in the cut, and um uh, when he jumped out, by him being who he is in the hood, it made you know like when certain people come out, it make the hood come out. Yeah. So now we got like fifteen niggas on the block with us. We just all just on the corner shooting the shit, talking. I had a single call. Let me get in here at the time. Me and Gates was on. She gonna suck it and fuck it and all that. Let me get in here. Let yeah. me get yeah. That you know I've been in the club with all that. So Travis, yeah. yeah so you know when Travis pull up, everybody come out. And I think because I had dreads and matter of fact, mm -hmm. I had bars some SBs from Gates at, a t at the time. We used to be like really crazy about skateboard dunks, and he had some gray and purple bitches I had really like. So I had got shot in that boy's shoe, and I had a little blood on him. I tried to give him back. He was like, oh, you could keep them. I don't yeah. want them. <laughs> nigga, everybody was like, you need to burn them shoes. I ain't never wear them bitches again, no way. So, but um, the crazy thing about it is, when I got hit that night, I go straight to the hospital, and Fat called me like 15 minutes later while I'm in the ER. Let me tell you some straight movie shit. That nigga like, man, you hit. I'm like, yeah, nigga, you, I, I'm really gonna tell them, nigga, you know I'm hit. Cause y'all, you done already told me, like, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, Duane, you really just, you know, it wasn't meant for me. So they really was trying to make sure they made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So nigga, like, he ain't gonna tell me, like, right then, he like, man, big brother, 
I'ma get them niggas who did that for you, you know what I'm saying? Oop the one. So I'm like, all right, you know, I you know I know how the game go. I go to Orlando for a little while. The boy called me. He like, man, I you know, people saying whoop the worm that I had something to do with it, but you know I wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, you just gotta talk them. It's really some big dog shit going on. Some shit that I, you know, because I wasn't the only person got hit. You feel me? So I'm like, man, you really need to talk to some higher entities. I'm like, I could put it together. I'm like, I really don't want to see this shit go left. Like, how it's really going to go left. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I, I'm like, out of all people, since you got communication through me, I'm like, man, y'all just eat. Y'all go, go, go at this head up. Stop throwing the brick high in your hand. You know what I'm saying? I got hit in my ass. Bullet come through my groin, it's lodged in my leg still to this day. Ooh. Yeah, I still play ball with it, everything. And niggas be talking shit, I still be doing my shit. Like, when it get cold, do it hurt? Yeah, that shit hurt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm finna go through it now, it's finna be winter. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But um, Travis got hit in his leg and his thigh and it broke his femur, I think. That's what that is right there. Like and broke that bitch in half, so. We were, but basically what I'm saying, we wasn't facing no life-threatening injuries. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mind you, they're 15 to 16 at the time. Some wild gunfire. Like, they, it wasn't no, nobody ran down on us. Like, mm -hmm. they were shooting from afar. It, you know, it shot out into a crowd of people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, once I did have a conversation with them that it wasn't meant for me, me and him made me and Fat made a man. He never he never said it was him. Mm -hmm. He just like he was saying like I know some people mm -hmm. who won't do some people some people. Yeah, he just was trying to put you up. Yeah, so when then when I got hit, he wanted me to feel like, dude, I tried to tell you, don't be around that nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And show us shit stink. I got shot being around the nigga. Mm -hmm. So that just show you like sometimes you gotta just listen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm.